today some person wrote a comment on one of my videos and he wrote over there about the Jewish people that because that they did not accept Yeshu as the Mashiach, therefore they lost the merit of being the chosen ones. I really felt a great desire to comment back, to respond to his comment, and to tell him that it's complete nonsense. But I held myself, and I rather to think and to pray on that topic and on that issue. And I will try now to explain a small thing about it and maybe to open the eyes of people who are willing to hear the truth. So, the Creator Himself is calling the nation of Israel my children. He called us my children. So now, you need to be very, 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 very stupid to think that the Father of Mercy will somehow remove his children from being in the status of his children, that he himself defined them as his children and made sure the world to know that they are his children. And it's written in the Bible that none of the honest religions are denying. He called us my children. A father never forgets his child, never removes his child from being his child. That's a complete false idea of people who does not really desire the truth, just wanting to create a truth and wanting to pretend to hold the truth, but not really willing to surrender to it. Now, I tell you, and I'm talking now to every person on earth that is desiring the truth, there is enough place and space for all nations, for 70 nations, for billion people, billions of people to join and to come to the house of God, to the temple of the Creator that will be rebuilt in our days in Yerushalayim, on the holy mountain of Zion. There will be enough space and place. No one will need to push and no one will need to stand in the front line. No one will need to be more important or holier or prettier or nicer or wiser or more righteous or more worthy. The unconditional love of the Creator is enough to heal the whole wide world. There is no competition. A child of the Creator is not the title that makes him more important than someone else. The child of the King is working harder than the servants of the King. The importance of the kingship that is their father is stuck in their hearts in such a deep way that they will do the lowest kinds of works and they will sweat and work hard and break themselves and will be willing gladly to die for the sake of their father just because they love him and admiring him so much. Therefore, to be a child of the king does not make you better than someone else. The opposite is the truth. It makes you stand in that position that you feel that it's your responsibility to open the gates of the palace to everyone to know your father, for everyone to be welcomed and recognize his greatness. A child of the king is as humble as his father. 
the children of the Creator are the ones that are desiring the Creator's kingship to be spread and open and be available for all. They are not hungry for the treasures or to eat and dine with their father or to enjoy the jewelry and the wealth of his kingship and royalty. They are willing to open the gates of the yard and the gates of the dining room and the gates of 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 every corner of the treasures and to spread the light of their father among all the people of his kingship. So for everyone who thinks that there is some kind of competition, so there is no, but we are who we are. And the Creator planted inside of us something special, something unique for us to share His loving kindness among 70 nations. And we're not cheap, we're very generous, and we're willing to share and to distribute the light to all the creations of our beloved Father, the Father of Mercy. And the verse is saying, V'rachamav al kol masav, His mercy and love is on all of His creations. He loves everyone, unconditional love. 